What's going on guys, it's AJ Chillax, and today we are going to take a look at the new Animal Crossing Nook Inc. Enhanced Wireless Controller for the Nintendo Switch. So is this the standard Animal Crossing controller that we have been seeing from Power A, or is there something different about this controller? Let's take a look. So alright guys, so let's jump right in. Here is the front of the box with the Animal Crossing logo and the controller. And on the side, here is some box art. And on the other side, we have some more box art. And on the back, it details all the features of the controller, but we'll go over that later on in the video. And back on the front, there's this tab that you can open up right here. And here's a little message with the Nook family. And it says Pro Style Wireless Freedom. And here's the controller in the box. And I know you guys didn't click on this video just to look at the box. So let's crack this open and take a look at the controller. So the first thing I want to point out is the design, style, and color of this controller. I'm really loving the green and white as it reminds me of the Boston Celtics logo. And if you didn't know, I am from Boston and I'm a diehard Celtics fan. So I'm really liking the color combo. But as for the controller, I like how they have the two-tone design with the green and nook leaf on one side and the white leaf pattern on the other side. And of course, the solid green on the bottom. Overall, I think they did a great job here. So let's go over the specs on this controller. It has the classic Nintendo button layout, anti-friction rings for smooth thumbstick control. It uses wireless Bluetooth 5.0 technology. It also has LEDs for player number and low battery warning. And it has two mappable advanced gaming buttons on the back of the controller. It also comes with a two-year limited warranty and it comes with a 10-foot USB-C charge cable. And yes, this controller can be used with the Switch Lite. And the biggest change or feature is that it has an internal rechargeable lithium-ion battery up to 30 hours per charge, but don't quote me on that. Now this is obviously not a Pro Switch controller as there's no HD rumble and doesn't have built-in amiibo functionality. However, if you can live without these two things, this controller will serve as a great alternative and you save at least 20 bucks which you could spend on more games. The one question I wanted to answer when I picked up this controller is will it enhance my gaming experience? The simple answer is yes. For me, it's all about the internal rechargeable battery, and I know it's a small upgrade, but it still plays off well when you don't have to scramble for batteries when your controller dies. And there's nothing I hate more than being in an intense Splatoon match and your controller just dies. Overall, I think this is a great alternative if you're on a budget or really like the design, but if you're a baller and can afford the extra 20 bucks, then definitely go with the Pro Controller. One last thing I want to show you guys is the Nook Ink Protection Case for your Switch. Now I got this off of GameStop for $19.99, so if you guys really like the controller, you can also get the matching case. So the case has a sturdy outer shell, and it feels really durable and safe for my Switch. And inside it has a built-in padded screen protector flap, And up here, it has a zipper pocket where you can open and you could store all your accessories or your charger. It has six pockets to store games, so that's good. And here is where you put your Switch or your Switch Lite. I like how it provides a bumper to protect your Switch Lite from moving around, but if you do have a regular Switch, you can just take this out and it works the same way. But that's about it for the Nook case and the Nook Ink controller. I'll leave links to all these products in the video in the description. But that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm AJ Chillax and I'm out.